Hey everybody, this is Jessica Lynn of Jessica Lynn Original, and today I'm going to go ahead and show you some features of the Brother Scan and Cut. I've had a lot of people ask me about it, so we're going to go ahead and do that, and then we'll make a really simple card. So on the Brother Scan and Cut, I have a 350, and there's a bunch of pre-existing um, templates that they already have installed right on the Brother Scan and Cut, which I love because the days of old where you'd have a whole bunch of different files you'd have to purchase, they're already installed. And what's cool is I can change the size of these, I can adjust them as needed. So we'll just choose right now the shorts and you can see I can enlarge them or shrink them as needed. Now again, why would I be cutting out shorts? But I could if I was maybe doing like a summer card with a beach scene or something. And I can flip them, I can rotate the shorts, whatever I need. Um, so it's kind of cool. I really like that there's a lot of different options. And if I wanted four or three pairs of shorts, and you can see it stacks it for a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. So I really kind of dig that. Now off on the left, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the little home button. I'm gonna delete it because this is not the pattern I wanna do. But let me show you something else that's kind of cool. So you pick a font, type in whatever you want. Once you have it in, you go ahead and hit OK, and you can see it already sized it to say Jessica Lynn Original in my specific font. Now, if I don't want it that big, I could shrink it down, um, and I could move it around and do whatever I needed. So this would be really cool if you did a lot of scrapbook pages, or a lot of what's really cool right now is to do the specific fonts with like different words, you know, uh, love, hello, thank you, stuff like that. Super easy. And again, you can see here, I'm just adjusting the width. I can make the ghost, the little ghost border larger, smaller, whatever I need. And I love that. And whenever I wanna just start over, I just go ahead and go to that little home and I can go back to the templates. Again, look at this. There's tons of different pre-designed different headers. You know, so pretty, spring, twins, true love, whatever. All kinds of cute stuff. So let's just pick winter, although it is finally warm here and I really don't wanna be thinking about winter. And I could enlarge this to be the entire size of the 12 by 12. And you can see, look, it perfectly fit it. So then I could cut out a nice 12 by 12 header. So if you were a teacher, you could use that for your school. If you were putting up your bulletin board. I recently made a cat card and it had three vertical rectangle boxes. And what's cool is I could go in here and you can see I can adjust the width or height as needed. And then before I'm done, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose the number of them. And what's cool about that is let's say I said, well, three, like I did for the cat card. I'll go in and choose that number and all three would line up on here. Now I only picked one, so that's why one showed up. Now if I hit add, I can mix and match. So if I know that I want a whole scheme of different patterns, I can just keep adding. Or go to home, click on delete, get rid of it again. So the other thing that's cool about the Brother Scan and Cut is that I can scan patterns or images that I've printed off and I can actually save those as templates. So recently I also did a video on coffee cups and in there I went ahead and set the templates so that I could use it over and over again. I really do like that. I think it's nice. Um, let's go ahead and we're just going to cut a couple of rectangles and we're going to make a really easy card today.
All right, so I set it up with four of them. And this sheet of paper is just an eight by 11 sheet of paper. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the scan feature right here. And what's cool, watch what it does. It's gonna scan the entire page and I'll be able to see where the pattern is going to fall. So think of it like sewing. If you knew how a specific thing you were trying to line up or a template or something, this would be a great way to be able to organize the cut lines. So see, you can see the border of that white paper. If there was a pattern, you would see the pattern as well. Even to the point here, you can see that I'm actually adding an extra rectangle that I want cut. And I can see where it lines up on the sheet of paper. So I could even cut a couple other small things. And I love that. It's another thing I love about the Brother Scan and Cut. So let's go ahead and cut it out and we'll see how they look. All right, once it's all cut out, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the OK button. And then from here, I'm gonna go ahead and just lift up and you can see, look at how beautiful these cut out. These are gonna be perfect for my really simple card that we're gonna make. All right, we're gonna go ahead and pull all four of them up as well as the little rectangle. And then I'm just gonna make a pile of them and we will decide what we will do next. I think I might use a set of stamps that I bought a long time ago that I've been really excited to use. Um, I love testing out other rubber stamps. Um, I create my own line of photopolymer stamps. I'm a little worried uh, on the stamps that I'm gonna use because I think they're just rubber, but I'm not sure. We'll have to see when we open them up. I forgot that I even had these, so I might even change my mind again. These are these little panda bears from Mama Elephant in Hampton Arts. I've really wanted them for a long time. I love hashtag the panda, and I think I might try and make a card out of these. And I will say when I opened them up, they are most definitely not photopolymer. They are a rubber. I haven't always had a lot of luck with the rubber stamps. They're really squishy, I guess, if that's a term, I don't know. Um, it, I, I really like the photopolymers because they stick well, they hold up nice. So we'll see how this goes. All right, so I am gonna go ahead and put the two little top bears kissing. And I think I'll just make a little love card or something like that. And uh, I got out my close to my heart ink. I've got my little cuts that I just did. And I'm super excited to see how this turns out.
The only thing I have a problem with with rubber stamps is that they're really squishy. So when you kind of push down on them, they squish in and they have a tendency to smudge a little bit or kind of almost look blurred. I'll put it away for now and we'll see how it looks. I'm, I'm not in love with it. But it's a cute set. It's from Mama Elephant, but I'm just not a fan of the rubber stamps. So it's kind of a bummer. But anyway, let's take a look at it here. So you can see, see how it kind of smudged on that bottom? I don't know. I'm going to try one more time. I'm just not loving it. I always cut out extra tags, so that's a good thing. Um, and I... I don't know, it's my first Mama Elephant stamp set, and I don't, I don't know if maybe it's just an older set or something, I don't know. But it's a rubber stamp, and yeah, so let's go ahead and I'll just grab the stamps back out, and we'll put them back on, and we'll try again, and see if they look better. So there they are, those look, see, you know, that one already looks a little bit better, so that's cute. Let me grab the sentiment, we'll put that on there as well. And uh, let me just put these little bears away real quick. And you can see, see how I kind of was able to stretch it? That's how you can kind of know if it's photopolymer or rubber. I don't know, some people like the rubber ones better. I personally, I'm a fan of the photopolymers. Um, but I mean, if it's a good stamp and a good image, I'll, I'll do whatever I have to with it. But you can see, see how it kind of moves? So I have to, I try to use like a ruler to make sure it's straight. Because I feel like the rubber stamps just sort of, I don't know, they kind of pull and they get warped really easily. So let me go ahead and just stamp that down and I'm not going to rock it. I'm going to try to just keep it as easy and smooth as possible. Let's see if that looks a little better. I'm going to go ahead and just peel off the part of the bear and I'm going to go ahead and put it all back together so the set's all clean. And again, this is the first time I've ever used this particular set. It was brand new. And uh, I don't know, I'm kind of giving it thumbs down here. I don't know, I'm not loving it. Let me show you what happened. So I took the film that had the image printed on it and I put it on the stamp and look at what it did. It like ripped off half of the ink off the thing. <sighs> That's kind of disappointing. So now there's weird imprinted... I don't know. That's... I... I, I I love the art. I think that's very cute. And you know what's weird too is it's all smudging off too. I don't know. I like the images. I think the panda bears are cute. But I am not loving what's happened. This is the first time I used the set. Like it shouldn't fall apart like that. So it's a little sad. Alright. Well let's move on. Let's make a really cute card out of this. We'll make uh, lemons with some lemonade. I mean, reverse that. That was like a Willy Wonka moment. Let's reverse that, right? We'll make lemonade out of lemons. So we'll get rid of the first one and we'll get out some pens and we'll doodle this all up. So we'll just get out some black pens, draw some little hearts, and these pens, I got them in an art box called, uh, oh, what is that art box called? Sketchbox. And uh, they're okay. They're cute. Um, this one here, this is a very weird gel ink pen. It reminds me a lot of those Christmas ornaments where it bubbles up, but it makes like a pinkish peach, and I'm going to get out my Copic markers, and I'm going to make it a little more pink, because I don't like it quite so peach. And then I'm going to draw a little bow, so I've got my little girl, so she's all cute. And I think, you know what, I might even, let's draw some grass. Yeah, let's just, if you ever look at all my stamps, I, for some reason all of my things have to live on a plane or on a space, if you will. So I'll just draw some little grass in there, color in her bow, and I think I might actually even give her like a little extra pink cheek. And again, this card was not meant to be a difficult card. It was just more or less to show you the brother scan and cut and the different options you have. And then again, that you can make cards using 
you know, whatever stamps you might have laying around. So it's one of my new challenges. I want to try and see how many companies stamps I can use, um, as well as obviously the ones I have for my, my own company. So. so let's go ahead and color in that little cheek piece. Oh, they look so cute. See, now that's cute. But again, you can even see the rubber had already stretched a little bit, and so the I love you is kind of not perfectly straight, so it's kind of a bummer. But not horrible. And then what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and just glue that on, and I think I might just draw a little line around it. Simple, easy craft paper card, nothing fancy. And I do want to take a moment and say thank you so much for watching our videos. If you like what we're doing, click that subscribe circle with the little Brentwood Owl in there. And I'm going to pop up two more videos. One, which is our most current video, and the other one, which is a video that I think is tailored for you. And that one will be at the bottom. Thank you again. Have a great day.